so that ending was pretty interesting to say the least i have so much to say about this ending <laughs> where should i begin full spoilers for dexter new blood and dexter I'm gonna be basically specifically talking about the ending so full spoilers so i saw a ton of people's reactions to the way it ended but i believe it was necessary for dexter to die because this isn't the dexter we fell in love with this is season 8 Dexter, not season 1 through 4 Dexter. Let me explain myself. Dexter season 1 is a faithful adaptation of the book. After that, the writers built off of the book. However, after season 4, a good chunk of the writers changed and a new showrunner was brought on for season 5. A lot of people, myself included, say that the show began to suck after season 4 because there were no consequences for Dexter's actions. It felt like he can do anything and get away with it. There's constant character inconsistencies, plot conveniences, just general bad writing all over the place. In the first four seasons, every time Dexter broke the code, he was punished for it. These later seasons don't feature that at all. Season 5 of Dexter was reckless, plot points were brought up, people just stopped caring about finding him, he would just kill people if they got too close, people who did not fit the code. But all that being said, brings us back to Dexter New Blood. To all the people saying that Dexter wouldn't do this, Dexter wouldn't do that, he would get out of it, all that, you guys are forgetting the later seasons of Dexter. I do think it was the right decision to have Dexter be killed. But I don't like the way he died. My problem with the finale is that it felt rushed. Angela didn't really have that much evidence against it. All she had were the wheel marks. She had a note saying that Jim Lindsay killed Matt and found titanium screws at his house. Basically the smallest amount of evidence to tie it back to the Bay Harbor Butcher. But all of that evidence is more for Matt, not really the Bay Harbor Butcher and all that. If this was going to be the season to kill Dexter, I don't get why they didn't build a stronger case against him. Because her evidence isn't that good, it's a little bit but not that good. But one thing that the show kinda just forgot in season 8, Dexter basically just kills someone in front of a camera. Like in a police station, just kills someone with a pen. Yeah, that was a horrible season. Just murder someone with a pen. Only in movies. It did make me think that we're gonna go back to Miami for him to stand trial and for us to see everyone. I think the finale should have been like two hours long or like a two-parter because it just flies over things. It makes me question why the show was so slow in the beginning. I thought it was just setting the pace for the series. I wanted it to end with everyone finding out, actually going back to Florida, having the original cast see him for who he truly is after all these years. I actually wanted Harrison to set the final kill room himself and to kill Dexter, which would have been way better, but instead he just shoots him. Like they set it up two episodes ago with the bottle thing, whatever, but come on. But the problem with that and like how they ended this, in order to continue the show, which I'm 90% sure they will, this was Showtime's biggest show of all time, almost 100% sure it's coming back. Anyways, if the show does continue, it's obviously going to be Harrison in the lead, but I don't think this actor could do what Michael C. Hall did. But I'd love for him to prove me wrong. Like, he's a great actor, but he's just not a Michael C. Hall. <laughs> he's not as likable. I really hope season 2 opens with Harrison being a completely different person, like him trying his best to blend in more, being way more likable. Because, you know, there's people still on Twitter right now yelling that Dexter should be free, all this. He should have a happy ending. And this is all because Dexter was such a likable character. And even though this season had Dexter be the most unlikable he's ever been throughout the show, people still rooted for him because Michael C. Hall is just that good of an actor. I felt like the acting all around was just impressive. Logan knocked it out of the park. When he needed to be intimidating, he truly was. He also was likable, making that 
death scene kind of annoying but looking at the show more as an origin story for harrison we see that the show wanted to be more self-contained like how angela finds out dexter is dexter or jim is actually dexter and that he's the bay harbor butcher and like she's basically filling in for the role of deborah being that she's on the police force and all that but i do think that was like kind of the wrong call it kind of has the worst part of reboots being that people essentially replace other people filling in their roles. A lot of people say that the show is just very mediocre and not that good, but I do feel like it was truly thrilling. We didn't know if Dexter was going to live or not. I do have hope for the future seasons because Harrison basically beats us over the head with him saying, oh, it's gonna save so many people. And he's really focused on the vigilante aspect of it, which I think the show finally told us that Dexter just killed people just because it's what Harry told him to do. And it's like, what he just wants to do. He didn't kill people because of justice or whatever. He just did that. He just used the code to get away with it so he could continue doing it and pleasing the dark passenger. Earlier, I did say that the pacing was pretty slow in the beginning. I do think it picked up in the later episodes. It went a little too fast at the end there, but the cinematography was great. The direction was good. Everything else was pretty solid. In my first video, I asked the question, is it all just nostalgia bait or is it an honest attempt to expand the source material? I will say that Angel's inclusion is just pure nostalgia, but the show was pretty decent. It did create new ideas. It was a little predictable, but overall, I did enjoy it. The ending was definitely not perfect. Like, the whole point was to fix the ending. <laughs> How'd you mess that up again? But it was good. I understand it. But if you enjoyed my video, leave a like. If you have a different opinion, comment it down below, I'd love to discuss, especially with the show. <laughs> Subscribe, and yeah, thank you.